Hi, it's Yui. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Inspired Japanese Cooking. Today, I'd like to show you how to cook corn tempura. Tempura is a popular Japanese food involving deep fried vegetables, seafood, etc. And with the simple breading, it really brings out the full flavor of the ingredients. I have leftover corn from my recent barbecue, so I cooked sweet buttery corn rice in the past video. Then this time, I'm gonna cook crispy and sweet corn tempura with it. First, cut the corn off the cob. It's easier to cut the corn off if you cut the whole corn into two or three pieces first. Then put the corn in a bowl and add the flour. Mix them together. Then add the same amount of water afterwards and mix them again to break the corn evenly. Making tempura at home is not difficult at all with this recipe, as you can cook it with only flour and water. No eggs and no special flour for this tempura is needed. You can also use gluten-free flour too. Now time to deep fry. Add some cooking oil in a pot and bring the temperature to around 350 Fahrenheit. Using two spoons, Gently drop the corn tempura mixture into the oil. Use the spoons to form each piece and try to keep them from falling apart. You can create 5 to 6 pieces from one corn cob. Cook one side for 1 to 2 minutes each until it gets a nice golden crust. Please try not to touch the pieces too much when you're cooking and cook only a few pieces each at once to maintain the temperature. Once they get this nice golden crust, take them out of the pot and place them on the paper towel to remove the excess oil. Then time to eat! To taste the natural sweetness of the corn, serve it with some sea salt. Usually, we eat tempura with tempura sauce, which is a mix of dashi, soy sauce, and mirin. But for this corn tempura, I recommend eating it with just the salt. Very crispy, and it has a nice mild sweetness from the corn. The touch of the salt further enhances the sweet flavor. If you like the video or want to see more recipes for tempura, Please feel free to give it a thumbs up or leave some comments. Thank you for watching and see you again. Mata ne!